I'm joined now by Dr. Brendan Lee, who is discussing the Human Genetics and Genomics Advances Journal. Thank you so much for being here. So because it's not necessarily available yet, tell us a little bit about what to expect in this journal. So this is the first ever online open access journal for the American Society of Human Genetics. And uh, this is a sister journal for the American Journal of Human Genetics. And its uh, goal is to really um, fulfill an unmet need, which is the expanding and exciting science that's happening among our membership. And to really to publish uh, lots of work that's being submitted um, uh, to the American Journal as well as uh, to other journals. So in the process, when can we expect to see the first edition? Well, so we are expecting to accept papers in January of 2020, and we're hopeful that the first edition will come out perhaps in uh, the early summer, late, fall, uh, late spring, May timeframe perhaps. So talk about the need. You discussed a little bit about why this was created. So certainly in terms of the publishing realm, uh, there's been increasing demand uh, for open access, and we at the Society certainly recognize this. I think that's one important goal of the journal, to provide this open access platform for our members. I think the second is that we also recognize with the expanding scope of genetics and genomics, um, there's lots of great work that, uh, uh, that's being submitted to the American Journal of Human Genetics that is not getting in pr primarily because of just space limitations. Um, and so this other journal will be able to accommodate this unmet need uh, for the work that's being done by our society members. And when you talk about that kind of access, it seems to me that will have great significance in the field in general. Absolutely. I mean, open access is designed to provide immediate um, access to all readers throughout the world. And it's a great platform for dis disseminating science. Uh, and again, there are now funding agencies that in fact are uh, demanding that that is the uh, sort of uh, root of publication. And so it, it is something that's happening today and we want to be responsive to our membership. I feel like that is sort of the next step in what ASHG has been trying to do all along and that is connect people worldwide to bring the great minds and the great research in genetics further. Absolutely, and uh, you know, connecting investigators as, as well as to the public is a mission for the American society. So this platform allows also the public to access primary scientific literature, for example. And who should be the people that are applying for the first papers? So I, we view it as all the types of scientists and clinicians who are submitting work to the American Journal, whether you're working on basic uh, genetic and genomic mechanisms to clinical um, uh, papers, we see it as a, a, a really a broad spectrum representative of the American society. As this comes to fruition, how long has it been in the works? How much labor has gone into it? Well, I think the board has been uh, discussing this for well over a year, and certainly um, in terms of the search process for the new editor, this is happening for now for the past several months. We're, we're very excited about identifying the new editor. Very exciting, the new HGG Journal. Stay tuned. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you.